According to the Bible, yes, the so-called black man is a god, but his nationality is an Israelite. Okay? Alright? So no longer should you walk off saying that I'm black. I'm the children of Israel. That's who you are. Okay? Alright? All right. How you know you're the children of Israel? Because God said so. Because God said so. Let me show you something real quick. Give me Daniel um, 9. Bring it up, real bro. quick. So, if what school you went to? From Johnson. All right, so if it was said that the graduates of Johnson High School, right, we're going to get $100,000. Do that mean because I came from Keenan, I'm going to get $100,000 too? No. Only that specific people is going to get it. Right. Watch what Daniel said. Bring it up. Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Bring it up. Yea, all Israel have transgressed by the... Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Uh -huh. So that means all of the children of Israel have broken God's commandments. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans make up the children of Israel. Right. All of us have broken God's laws, right? Read. Even by departing that they might not obey my voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Those curses that we was reading in Deuteronomy 28, because we broke God's laws, those curses came upon a specific people, the children of Israel, right? Read. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, uh -huh. the servant of God, Read. because we have sinned against him. And he has confirmed his words. He confirmed his word by allowing this thing to happen. When it says, it shall come to pass, it, it happened. He confirmed that word. We see this confirmation today. Right. That's why we're the first to be fired, but the last to be hired. Right. When stuff comes around, when they look at who they're going to keep, right. they'll train you for a replacement of another nation. Right. Or have you train them. You understand? We're the ones that are suffering these, these atrocities within our nation. Read. And he hath confirmed his words, Go on. which he spake against us, Read. and against our judges Go on. that judged us, Read. by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven. Let me ask you a question. You got children? You don't? You got children? If somebody took your child away from you and said, I'm going to use your child to, gate, to bait Gator so that I can catch Gators. Is that a good thing or is that an evil thing? <laughs> that's an evil thing, right? If they said, yeah, I know that's your child, but Master Johnson want him over here in another plantation. I'm going to take him from you and I dare you to try to take him back. Is that a good thing or an evil thing? For someone to tell you, I know you don't have a job right now, but if you don't pay this bill, you got to get the hell out. All of this great evil only happened to the children of Israel. That's right. By bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven. Under the whole heaven, meaning this sky right here. Under this sky on this earth, read. Hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. No other nation have been through the stuff that we've been through. Nobody else. Right. That's how we know for a fact that we are the children of Israel. That's right. The greatest people ever to walk the planet Earth. How do you know we're the greatest people? They tell you that? They show you that? Did anyone show you that we are the greatest people ever walk the planet Earth? You already know. So let me, I'm going to show you exactly. The whole reason why this earth exists is because you exist. Bring it up. That's right. Jeremiah 31. If, it, if he had no, no thought of having you here, none of this would exist. Right. So a lot of times in these Christian churches, they try to say that the children of Israel are no longer a people. Now everybody is under this covenant with Christ. Right. That's not what God said. It burns me up to even think. The fact that our people believe that crap. Right. When the Bible clearly says something different. Read. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 35. Read oh. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day. Is there a sun in the sky right now? Read. And the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. Was you awake last night? Did you see a moon and stars in the sky? Was they not giving off light? Read. 
which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. You ever been to the beach? Does not the sea stop at a certain point? Read. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord of hosts, the God of the children of Israel. That's who created that. That's who that's who is telling you. He created that. The Lord of hosts is his name. Read. If those ordinances depart from before me. If ever the sun was to no longer give light, the moon was to no longer give light, right the, the stars was to no longer give light, if the doggone ocean did not obey God's word and come up to a certain point and just stop. Read. Saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they will no longer be a people only if that sun was no longer in the sky. Right. Right. If this earth did not exist, there was no need for you. Right. This was created for you. That's right. right. So you have to ask yourself, if this earth was created for me, what the heck should I do in order to regain it? Because I don't know about you, I'm not happy with the crumbs that I get. Right. I understand that this earth was given to me. I understand that only reason it's here is because I'm here. Right. What must we do to get it back? Right. Oh. Fight. Fight. What you say, uh, Dominique? Uh, if this earth was made for you, and you're supposed to have this earth, this supposed to be your kingdom, what must we do to get it back? Gotta have faith. Gotta have faith. What you, what you say, Miss Andrew? Need wisdom. Guess what? All of y'all had great answers. And I'm going to prove to you, according to the Bible, what you said is right, but you got to know how to do it. Right up. Because we can fight all day. But guess what? We ain't going to be able to stand against him with no weapons, no regular, regular weapons. Right. Matter of fact, get that, uh, hold that, get 2 Corinthians 10. That ain't the type of weapons that we're going to be able to use. This fight. It's not with physical hands. This fight, this is your weapon. This is what's going to regain the kingdom. This is what's going to put you back on top as a princess. This is what's going to put you back as a god, Dominique. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 four. and verse 4. Bring it out. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Warfare, this is a battle. This is a fight. But we're not fighting with physical hands. God said it's by His might that we're gonna do that. Right. You think about it. You got a bunch of men coming up that's teaching and preaching the word of God. How is it that you will sit there and you'll see that, you'll be like, well dang, when they doing that, I see changes. But then I see other men coming over here with guns and stuff, they ain't doing nothing but getting killed. That ain't helping me. Right. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Come on. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Guess what? One of those curses was saying that we was going to have no might in our hand. Right. Right. So it ain't going to be by our own physical might that we fight. It's by the spirit of the most high God placed upon us. That's right. By these words. By you applying the words in, this, in these words. That's going to get you out of this estate. Right. That's what's going to change you. That's what's going to reform your mind. That's what's going to teach you how to be a princess so that you can teach other little princesses. That's right. right. That's what's going to turn this kingdom back around, back into our hands. Finish right. that out. Casting down imagination. Guess what? It's an imagination that's put upon our people that think it's okay for us to do whatever the hell we want to do. Right. Thinking that, okay, yeah, I'm going to pick up guns and fight with these men with arms. When they create the damn weapons. Bring it up. That don't make no sense. Right. It's an imagination of our mind to think that Christ was a so-called white man. Right. Right. That the same people that put us in captivity will literally tell you who the hell you are, really. Bring it out. Read that again. Casting down imaginations. It's only through the words of the Most High God that we're going to understand that we're not black. That's an imagination. That's a figment of our imagination to think that we're black people. Right, a freaking right. color. Guess what? It ain't even no such thing as a white person. Right. Get out. 
Read that again. Casting down imagination. Come on. And every high thing that exalts and that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Anything that come against this Bible will not stand. Right. So no matter what they say, they can put curfews out. They can do all of this. It's not going to stop the promise of God from being fulfilled. Yeah. Right. Right. Guess what? It was a promise by the Most High God that if the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans did not keep his laws, they was going to go into captivity. Right. Did not that happen to your people? Did not that happen to your people? Read it again. Casting down imaginations Come on. and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Come on. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. That is the part of reforming your mind. Right, That's right. what the fight is about. Because guess what? This fight is not going to end. This fight starts within you. This, this fight starts within yourself. Right. You have to bring the thoughts within your mind into captivity of the Most High God's word. Bro, bro, come around here, come around here, come around here, come around here, come around here. What, what, what's the point of you doing? What y'all doing? What, what, what we doing? Car. I'm gonna tell you what we doing. What, you see, you see the front of this Bible? All right, that's right. What's on the front of that Bible? Right. Bring it up! That is an imagination. That's a stronghold against our people. Right. Right. What right. this brother don't realize is that has been indoctrinated in him. Part of God. that fight is him having to separate that. Right. You know what? Wow. My, my wow. grandma gave me her Bible. It was about as big as that. It had, it had a picture of the so-called white man in it. And you know what my, my daughter did? She snatched it out. Right. right. Because that's not a part of us. That's not what we do. Read it again. Casting down imaginations uh -huh. and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Come on. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. If you're not willing to bring your mindset under the obedience of God, you will continue to be a slave in America. Right. You will continue to be gunned down in the streets. Right. You will continue to be wondering what the heck I'm going to do to get out of this. That's right. It's only in the safety of the Most High God through His Word that you will have some type of peace of mind. Right. Right. What's your name, sis? Hey, you eating the chips. I said, what's your name? Rosa? I, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Come a little closer. Understood. So what, how are we going to fight? What is the point of our fight? What are we have to do? Get Romans 12 and 2. Bring it up. Let me show you part of that fight. Two. Part of that, putting your mind into the subject of this Bible. What must you do? Read what you got. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Bring it up. And be not conformed to this world. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It, the Bible said, don't be conformed to this world. Meaning what? Still being in subject to what they say as far as saying, okay, Christ is white, okay. I'm black, okay. God said that you are not black. Right. God said that you are the children of Israel. Hey, right. right. The greatest people ever walked the face of the earth. Read that again. And be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. In order for your mind to be renewed, that means at one point in time, you understood that you were the children of Israel. Right. But in our disobedience, when we came here again, the Most High God stripped that from you. Right. right. He said that in your affliction, you're going to seek him. Right. Because guess what? When we had everything, we didn't want to seek him. We wanted to serve other gods. Right. We watched the other nations being envious of what they do. Right. Following after their gods. But God said to what? Renewing of your mind. Starting from the top. And be not conformed to this world. That means don't follow after the ways that they teach you. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing 
of your mind. Renew your mind unto God's laws. That's what's going to get you out of this captivity. That's right. right. That's what's going to make black men stand up as gods on this earth. Read right. Up. Read. That ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. He said, in doing so, this is what's going to prove what is good and acceptable unto God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.